Well, good Saturday morning to you guys. Getting ready to go do something I haven't been able to maintain nor do in a little while, and that's the workout. Not sure how that's gonna feel. My back's already crying a little bit. And I am excited to do the workout. I always feel like shit when I'm not doing the workout, like regretful, like damn, I should be doing that no matter what. And every time I get back into it, I'm like, I'm not gonna let anything stand in the way. It's the workout over everything. And that doesn't seem to really be the case. So I'm gonna try to do the workout, try to do the run. And that's how I'm gonna begin this Labor Day weekend, doing some laborious workout. As far as the fasting goes, I've all but not done well with that at all. And as a matter of fact, this morning I've already eaten two fat boy donuts. So that's gonna be nice. Gotta go burn those calories off. Uh, the fasting has not been working for me while working. I get way too hungry at work. I'm burning way too much energy at work. So hence the fact the fasting has gone out the window. Uh, what else? So going to try to do a couple things around the house this weekend. Not really sure what I'm going to get to and get done, but one thing's for certain, I just want to be able to enjoy this weekend. What a hectic week it was. And unwind, reboot, prepare for next week. I actually got a call from Property 3 yesterday afternoon, well after the video was done being filmed, uh, asking if I could come do some drywall repairs over the weekend. I said, you know... I would if I could, but I can't. I'll do it Tuesday morning. Two holes in a ceiling. Anywho. I got a lot of codes I'm trying to remember. Well, not a lot. I got two and I always get confused on them. They're not the same because one, you can have like a five digit code or a four digit code and the other one, you gotta have a six, so. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this workout. It's been a while, and I'm actually mostly looking forward to what the run is gonna be like and what the footage is gonna look like of the workout. Me looking at myself, seeing, do I look like I'm putting weight back on? Because I know I probably am. I need to get on top of that and make sure <laughs> that it's this workout above everything. All right, let's get to it. Workout above everything. Trying to get back because we're getting fat again and we can't have that. All right. All right, first let's do a status report, status update. I can't tell, shadows are toying with me this morning. Slept in this morning, that felt good. Trying to stretch. He's trying to stretch. All right. The one workout where you cannot go wrong is push up, so I'm certainly gonna be doing those. Alright, so I did side push, side arms, push ups. What else? How about back pulls? I haven't done those in a while. Mm. 
Okay, so that's the workout. Side arms, push-ups, back pulls. Ah. God, I gotta be honest, it sucks. Yeah, it does. It sucks. Oh God, I feel that burning. I feel that burning. Yeah, buddy. Whew. I feel that all, all. Twenty-five. That's the number. It's the donuts. It's those fucking donuts I ate this morning. <clears throat> They're making it even worse. I think I took about two weeks off. Jesus. Time flies when you're not working out. All right, that's it, so I'm gonna take this four by four home with me today. I'm gonna use this to fix the center of my bed that keeps collapsing. Yeah, I am. Struggle bus. Struggle bus. Struggling for that 25. I got the 20 and I was like, I'm about to quit. I'm about to quit. I got this guy blowing me up about this weight bench. Not sure if he's legit or not. Huh, message the guy, seems like he's legit. Joe, you taking too long. Taking too long. There you go. There you go. Getting ready to start set number four. Start set four and then one more. That's why I like doing five sets. If you can make it to three and then you can get done with that third set, the last two sets ain't shit because there's some motivation to get through. Set four and then one more. I like it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got him buckling. Sorry. I don't want to watch a half naked man work out. I don't want to watch it neither. But I got to use this camera as my full body mirror. All right, maybe a guy coming to get that weight bench I got. I think I dropped the price down to 150. Pepper, I try to talk him down, and he certainly can because I just need to get it going. <clears throat> It's an old weight bench that I don't even use. It was my first weight bench, as a matter of fact. Animalistic growling. Whew. Animalistic. So I got it listed on Facebook Marketplace. Started at $200 for this weight bench. Drop the price down to 150. It's sitting in my other storage unit, taking up space down there. And the guy probably, he's messaged me a bunch throughout the week. I finally got a chance to respond to him. So he probably looks at my Facebook profile, which I've changed my occupation to toilet cleaner at McDonald's. He's probably like, oh yeah, this guy definitely needs the money. And then he probably sees my last post, which is a weight loss post, showcasing me at 275, almost 280. Dropping down to almost 235. God only knows what I weigh right now. Ain't been on the scale in forever. I'm scared to get on the scale. And it's probably like, oh shit, I gotta go get this weight bench. That shit worked wonders for that fat motherfucker. Maybe it'll do that for me too.
Yeah, I'm gonna be sore as shit after this. Yes, sir. Doing it so far. You ain't lying about that. Potential. Yes, sir. Everything you can use protein, protein shaking. Yes, sir. And that way you you get you won't have to worry about carrying all around trying to get rid of them. You're right. And, and you got a young woman to do it on her. Yeah, you're right. That's what kid, I'm 80 years old and still climbing climb up in the hole. How old are you? 80. 80? 80. There ain't no way. Yes, I am. My God. Hey, that's a beautiful truck. That's it. Yeah. I know that's right. Nah, but I imagine they tall. I imagine. Wow, yeah. Sir, you look great for your age. Hey, pretty good too, thanks. Hey, thanks, sir. Yeah. You enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Yeah, I'm the best yeah, I'm you too. Anyone telling me no lies? Stay away from them cakes. Anyone telling me no lie? That dude said he was 80 years old. Ain't no way. That man looked like he about 50. He messed me up with that. So you need to lose some weight. Whew. I believe. No, man, so I ain't got time to fuck. You go ahead and take a ball of blood and see what you can do with it. But I ain't got time to fuck anywhere. But I said, yeah. I was all right. I took the fucker out. And I went down through some wood and went to Green Briar. And I, man, I rode the hell out of that motherfucker. And I cut part of back. Yeah, I walked it down so it wouldn't be all sweaty and yeah. all the time. Put him in there. And all that. He was jumping that goddamn high. You motherfucker, you fucked up my goddamn heart. He said, you go to some goddamn heart, he can't even walk in the goddamn uh, interstate. Oh, wow. No, I mean, blew that motherfucker down hard. It didn't hurt him. Yeah. But it gave him a lot of exercise. But I said, oh, man, you got to get something you can enjoy. You can't enjoy something, something you got to stable all the time. You ain't lying about that. That doesn't work, right? Yep. All right, you have a good one. You as well, sir. All right, final set. Sorry, you're probably seeing corner of the uh, rear view mirror. Oh shit, I'm sweating. Oh, God, I hate sweating up this truck. Hate that, hate that, hate that, hate that. Yo, I don't know how much of that conversation you heard with the guy who uh, pulled up, um, pulled up uh, in that nice old GMC, I think it was, truck. That shit was real old and jacked up and just a classic right there i don't know what it was honestly it could have been anything dodge chevy it wasn't a ford 80 year old dude he told me he was 80 i said there ain't no way dude he was sitting in the truck and i could tell that he was in some kind of good shape for his age i said man there ain't no way once he parked he got out and came down to me 
and I started believing that he probably was 80, in great shape, <sighs> talking a little bit of shit to me at first about, you gotta leave him cakes alone. <sighs> then he said, I was built like a horse, which was kind of weird, but a uh, nice enough guy. And hey, all is motivation. He ain't lying, leave him cakes alone. I was just eating them, them donuts this morning. But I got through the workout. I'm happy that I did that. And now I'm gonna go try to do the run and I know that's gonna be even more hell. And then I'm gonna enjoy the weekend. Spend some time with my wife, uh, go out, go do some shopping. We got some Labor Day sales taking place. Hey, if you wanna get a TV, today's the day to do it. I don't need a TV. I would like a couple new pair of sunglasses so I ain't gotta keep wearing these same glasses. I'd like some clothes, cause all my clothes is turned into work clothes. Um, nothing major, just a couple little things. So, oh, I'd like a heat gun too. Bo had a heat gun and that shit was wonderful for drywall repairs. You wanna get the drywall mud to set up quick, get your heat gun. You do run the risk of cracking the mud, but I guess that's just a risk that you take. I didn't see any cracking when I used that heat gun yesterday, but I'm sure at some point I probably will, but I need me a heat gun. That's a very convenient tool. Whew. Hey, I'm uh, I'm a little bit broke down from that workout. I'm not gonna lie to you. That 80 year old dude probably could have done more than me. Looked like he'd been climbing trees his whole life. He all he kept talking about was that Tennessee Walker, that horse. He said, you ever seen a Tennessee Walker? I said, sir, I got no idea what you're talking about. Not at all. Anyways, let me go do this run and I will share the run with you. You guys wanna go for a jog? Me neither, but let's go do it anyways. Whew. One point, almost 1.40 miles. And dying. All I'm thinking about are them damn donuts that I ate and that shit making me stagnant as a bitch. My first mile was 11 minutes and 52 seconds. Jeez. Uh, second mile probably a little bit quicker than that. Took a little bit to get into that first mile. A lot of aches and pains, hips, feet. I can't even find my jogging shoes, so I'm in these. Uh, but whatever, I'm out here doing it, trying to get through it, and I'm gonna get the two. After I did the one mile, I thought to myself, man, that's it. But what kind of what kind of sense would that make? Go for the two, get it done, and continue with the run. Let's take the scenic route and keep our mind off it a little bit. Should look like a body right there. <laughs> what is it? Where that shit? Ain't nothing fun about this. Ain't nothing fun about this. All right, I'm done, two miles, 2.03 miles, 23 minutes and 44 seconds. Average pace, I think 11 minutes, 43 seconds. And burping up donut, ugh. God, I feel disgusted with myself. But I burned like 430 calories or some shit. That might've been like one donut. So, got through it and did the workout. Tell you what, I'm already feeling a lot better about today and I don't care how sore I'll end up from all of this. It don't matter, whatever you want to do. You take that cash and put it in your purse. 
I look 10 years younger now that I've shaved. All right, hey, welcome to Wally World. Me and the beautiful missus was out here doing some shopping. She carrying all the damn bags and uh, she'll be carrying all of that stuff. I wanna do one of those videos where it's like the shopping haul. What did I get? Oh my God, did I get some fines. You really did. So I found me some painter pants. I found me a nice white shirt. Wait till you see it. I found me some cheap ass cologne, almost like some Axe body spray. Out here just trying to soak up these Labor Day sales. We ain't really seeing much on sale, but we sure is buying a couple things and we ain't really doing nothing crazy. Some clothes, much needed. My wife needs some clothes. She ain't found nothing yet. Oh my God, I gotta show you these glasses. Look at this. Yeah, I'm about to rock these shits. I forgot about these. Uh, break. Look at these, boy. Hey, man. <laughs> and they got like the paint specs on these shits. These are glasses. They were 20 bucks. I had to get these. Almost look like a fucking... Paint chills. Yeah, it could be that too. It almost looks like a, uh, a sun visor. Almost looks like a sun visor. Would you be caught dead wearing these? I said I wanted to get a new pair of sunglasses. This was one of two pairs that I got. I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the day. Will you be embarrassed? No, I made you get them. I'm gonna be you, you wanna try them on? Yeah. Don't be jealous. Look at them joints right there. That is the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen in my life. Looks like you can't read. You look like a freaking dentist. Like you're about oh, yeah. to. <laughs> About to clean somebody's teeth. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's so funny. All right, we're hanging out, enjoying Saturday. Did I tell you I shaved? I look ten years younger, babe. Oh God, and I forgot I just paid cash in that store. Man, they make you—they make you realize why you don't want to use cash. They've—they've they've got cash, cash scanners now. Forget the markers. Now they're putting your money through a, a cash scanner and it's almost like a soda vending machine. The way that shit be kicking the money back and it's not working and it's not plugged in. They doing it with $1 bills. <laughs> they, make you they make you feel bad for using cash. They're telling the people behind you, excuse me one moment, they're paying with cash. <laughs> Might as well say we got some fucking food stamps in there. <laughs> they got coupons. I'm sorry, <laughs> I know it's Labor Day. It was like that, though. <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> she was like, thank you for your patience. <laughs> to the people behind. Like, thank you for your patience. They got on the intercom with that shit. <laughs> Line three. Line three is closed. <laughs> they're, they're using cash. I, I, I'm just as confused as you as why they're doing that. <laughs> I'm literally crying. All right, just got home from shopping, and man, it looks like I hauled in some goods. Yeah. All right, let me show you a couple of my wares, a couple of my things that I got. So let me show you the ultimate flex right here. Uh, bing! Boy, look at that joint right there. I got the Craftsman Trade Stack. If this shit... Ain't all oh, the rage, boy. You could take the individual cases off. I got the briefcase right here. Take that case off. Take this case off. Now you're probably wondering, damn, Joe, where did you get that? That shit is like that. How much was that? I know you got a mean deal on that. I did not. This was $200 right here, but I did put it on the business account and I'm going to write it off because that's what it's going to be. If that ain't a business expense right there, I don't know what is. So there's my original toolbox, the DeWalt box. Uh, and I don't know if you can stack those like you can stack these. Because I've never, I just don't know. Maybe you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tools in all of this painting stuff, right? So how's it going? Boom. Locks in right like that. Adjustable handle. It's on wheels as well. So I'm going to have my drywall finishing stuff. I'm going to have my uh, paint brushes and other little small tools and maybe like power tools down there or something and maybe do something with that one. But yo, that is a necessity right there for organization. 
Ain't that right, Luce? You got the fleas? Do you got the bugs loose? I sprayed that backyard for the mosquitoes. I certainly did. So we got the football on. Yes, sir. We're going to go watch some games in a little while. Uh, what else did I get? I got me plenty of stuff. So, oh shoot. Bang. Another brand new front door hardware set. Now you're probably wondering, Joe, didn't you just do your front door? And the city's trying to fuck with you behind that and you haven't told us anything going on with that? Well, nothing has come of that yet. And what I'm going to do is, I got that one which is bronze or gold. I'm going to paint the front door black. Right, and I'm gonna put that bronze hardware up there and I'm gonna show good faith in trying to make my door not look so modern. My neighbor's door is black with gold hardware or bronze hardware. So I'm trying to make my door match their door. So if I do go to court and they do try to give me a hard time, still, even after I say, hey, look, you had a problem with the door being too modern. I tried to change it. They're going to be like, you know what? That's not good enough. I'm going to be like, yo, I got some pertinent information about my neighbor. They got the same exact door. So go get them too. Don't make it different strokes for different folks. What else did I get? I got some filters for the spray guns. We need these. We need these filters. I got three of those because I got three machines. I got me some brand new glasses right here. Check this out. You gonna wear these glasses, babe? They look way too good on you. These gifts are for you too. My wife didn't get anything today. Nothing, not one thing. She didn't get nothing. She couldn't find anything. These are some uh these are some toy birches right here I got for like sixty dollars. Yeah. So these are all the all the rage. She'll be wearing those. I uh, showed you guys already the safety visor looking like a dentist. I got these pants right here. Check these out. I got these 14th Union, all white. They say, don't wear white after Labor Day. Joe, what you doing with the white pants? My wife saw me getting these and she said, no. She said, no. I said, hell no. I said, babe, these are my new painting pants. They were only 25 bucks. Painter's pants, right here. Because I ain't got no all white pants. Louis liked the pants. Oh, yeah, he do. Louis, Louis, <laughs> her, her. Hey, hey, there we go. <laughs> He don't know what to do because he know he's about to get a treat. So I got those right there. Now you got to have a white shirt to go with those. I couldn't find the white shirt per se. I did. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. Also got me some new cologne. Check it out. They wrapped it up real nice. $14 cologne right here. Shit like some Axe body spray, but it smelled pretty good. So I'm going to be rocking this. I got me a couple of, I got two of them. I got me two car mounts for the cellular device. Uh, that way I ain't got to hold that cellular device because man, they were trying to call the feds on me for the other day Holding that phone, but sometimes I use the GoPro and sometimes I film with the phone So I got two of these don't lock me up, please Or do or do so uh, And then I got a couple of shirts, but I want to show you my work shirt and that's that's all for the haul I think you guys will be quite impressed with the white shirt to match the white pants. You don't wear white after Labor Day unless unless you paint for a living. And well, I do paint for a living. I wish I could have filmed when I went to Lowe's. Uh, we walked through the painter section. And you know, when you're a painter, you just kind of poke your chest out just a little bit more walking through that section. Hey, get the mm, out of my way. Professional painter coming through. So yeah, I got the, uh, I got the white shirt right here that's gonna match those white pants. I don't really do fashion blogs, but we gotta try it on and see how it fits. You let me know. This is what I'm wearing back to work on, on Tuesday. I'm also gonna wear this to go watch football. I think this would be a mean conversation piece. What do you think, babe? It's a little snug. No, I think it was uh, not me being thirst trapped. Not me being what? A thirst trap. A thirst trap? Damn, babe. All right. Hey, boy, the joint. Hey, it's like a little fitted T right here. I mean, look at those guns out. <laughs> Sun's out. All right, so I got the white pants. I got the white shirt and fitting AF. What y'all think? What y'all think, huh? Dare. Drugs are bad. 
It's a teacher teaching children. And what is this kid guy? Is that a... Oh. I thought she had a paintbrush right there. That was one of her little pigtails. So the teacher is smiling, holding a book, saying drugs are bad, written on the board. The young man, the little boy right there, he's paying attention. He's writing that shit down. But the little girl, hey, she looking back like, what the world? Drugs are bad. But my mommy puts a light bulb in her mouth. Yeah, I don't know, man. Hey, man, that is a nice shirt. That's going to look good with them white slacks. Just got to tell you. Anyways, that's all we got for the uh, the shopping vlog. So, carrying on. Going to be watching football.